All right, guys. Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about manifold and its uses. First of all, what a manifold is? This is called a manifold, which comes in a cardiac cath pack, or it comes separately in a sterile packaging. And this video is being recorded only for the educational purpose. That's why we are dealing these items in a non-sterile way. Otherwise, this whole procedure is a sterile procedure. So. This is a manifold. Why is it called a manifold? Because here are multiple lines, connections in this set. Right, this comes with a three-way. It is called a manifold. This is high-pressure sealant to inject the contrast. And there are certain tubings come along with this. This is a tube extension which can be attached. It should be male to female. As you can see, if I try this in this way, it will not be connected. So male should be to the female side. As you can see now it's extended you can attach the high pressure syringe at the other end just tighten it to avoid any potential air now the question is how to use these many ports so this first port is for the pressure monitoring invasive pressure monitoring if it is connected to the arterial line, so we can utilize this one as port for the invasive pressure monitoring. Pressure monitoring line, we can connect it to here as you can see how to connect it. Rotate it to clockwise, lock and tighten it. Keep it aside for a while. In some cat packs, it comes already attached. But in some of the cat packs, it comes in separate ways, but you have to connect it. But it's easy to connect it. So second one is the saline tubing line. Similarly like this. Now this sign means it's locked. So it's locked towards the pressure. See, as you can see closer, there is written here clearly, off. Off means off towards any side. So if let's suppose if it is like this, so it's off towards the operator if it is in this way it's off towards the pressure monitoring now and the other ports are open so this means it's are open this way is open now the last line is the contrast tubing similarly attach it rotate it to lock and tighten it to avoid any potential air now the question is how to utilize it this first pressure monitoring line will go to the pressure dome which you have already prepared while doing a cardiac cath procedure you will use a pressurized bag with heparinized saline with the pressure monitoring dome. So this one will go there. Second line will go to the pressurized saline bag. Make sure here this port is closed because as you are dealing with the pressurized bag saline. So if it is open, it will leak all the pressure in the pressurized bag. So make sure this is closed for the saline tubing. Now the third one is the contrast tubing. So the contrast tubing as there is no air system. So what you need to do, you need to keep this port open to release the contrast easily. Okay. So once you attach all the lines, what you need to do first, you need to keep, make sure this side is not attached to the patient yet because you need to flush this line first to make it air free. Turn this off side towards the operator so that it can be open towards the patient side but not attached to the patient. So what will the second helper do? The helper will flush this line tubing right from the port itself, from the pressure monitoring port. There is no potential air, you can close it to that side. The second one is it is already pressurized cell line back. What you can do, you can once you just turn it off towards you and on towards the pressure bag and the patient side, you will see that there will be a pressurized saline coming out. Once it's flushed from this line to remove the air, then close it towards that side. Then the third one is the contrast. For the contrast is the other way around because for this, you have to fill your cell. You need to turn this one towards the other, towards the patient side. You can take the contrast in this way. Once you take the contrast, sure it's air free then close it towards the contrast side once you are done with this then rotate it upright and keep all the ports locked towards their side and just keep it open towards the patient this side this small side means it's off this side means it's off and these three sides mean it's on so now make it off towards this way and rotate it upright and the syringe i'm just put some pressure on the syringe to release the potential air 
in the tubing. So once you are clear from the air or air bubbles, turn this on this way. So you should rotate it lock towards the operator side and keep it open towards it because now you cannot take any potential air that is in the gates already. Thank you so much for watching.